Welcome to Visuals. What the fuck kingdom? Welcome to Visuals Kingdom. I'm your host Nick Metzger and today we talk about the best export settings for your YouTube videos. I know this is a bit of a dry subject but you don't want your videos to look like this or like this. The settings we use for our videos are... Well, that was fast. Let's talk about it more in detail. For the format we use H.264 which is also known as MPEG4 AVC and it's basically the standard for online videos. A better format than that would be H.265 because with the same quality you only get half of the file size. But it takes 2.7 times longer to export and at the moment there isn't a lot of hardware support for it. Next you want to set your output name and your file location. To choose that simply click on the title next to output name. Set the resolution to 1920 x 1080 pixels, which is Full HD. Sometimes we also use 4K, which is 3840 by 2160 pixels, and that's basically four times bigger than Full HD. So if this is Full HD, then this is 4K. Whether or not you can use 4K depends on your original footage. Now, the frame rate must match the frame rate of your original footage. If you have mixed frame rates in your clips, make sure to interpret them all to unified frame rate. To do this, you right click the shots you want to interpret and go to modify, interpret footage. Then you simply put in the frame rate you need. But be careful with that, if you have original audio, it will shift as well. Next, you need to set your field order to progressive. This makes sure you don't get those weird lines in your video. For the aspect ratio, choose square pixels 1.0. You would only need the other options if you were shooting with anamorphic lenses and cinema cameras, which is quite cool, by the way. The TV standard must match your original footage and depends on how you set up your camera. Now, leave the profile on main and continue to render at maximum depth. Render at maximum depth gives you the most color details because it renders at 32-bit color depth, but you only need this if you make some color corrections, for example, with LUTs in Lumetri. Otherwise, uncheck the box. Now for the bitrate settings. CBR or constant bitrate is used for footage with a lot of movement and when checked, your whole image will be scanned frame after frame. If you're in a situation where you only have tripod shots and not much is moving, you will want to use VBR or variable bitrate since that gives you a smaller output file. We always use CBR though and put the target bitrate to 30. Now maximum render quality is a tempting box to check but you only need to use that if the size of the output format is not the same as your sequence. Otherwise, there is no use for it and the exporting process simply takes longer. That's it for the video settings. Now switch over to the audio tab. I'm not an audio professional, but here are the settings I use. For the format and codec, choose AAC. Then select the sample rate of 48 kHz, put the channels into stereo, set the audio quality to high and select the bitrate of 320 kilobytes per second. And that's it for the export settings. Now, there is a pretty handy feature for you to make sure that you don't have to go through the settings all the time. Simply save a preset. To do so, scroll to the top and click on the first icon next to preset. A window will pop up where you can put in your desired title and when you hit OK, you will find your preset in the preset list. All right, that's it for today's tutorial. Now you know what export settings to use and how you can use presets to be efficient. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and subscribe to our channel to help us help more people. Goodbye.